Dude, we are almost at this objective, and now there's multiple people. It was at this moment that Nathan knew. He fucked up. Not gonna happen- Dude, come on! That is so f stupid. Did you f see that? Dude! You can't just, like, pull me back to get tackled, man! <laughs> hey, what is going on, everybody? My name is Zach, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we are going to be checking out the new Red Dead Online update and the clothing that was added today. Um, no matter what you guys think, we got... <laughs> We got some pretty low items, but there's one highlight if you guys have been paying attention to my Red Dead Online update videos every single Tuesday when the new updates go live every single week. You guys know I've been looking forward to the Benbo jacket, and that is what we are going to be unlocking today. So drop a like if you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Make sure to check out the link down in the description below if you guys want to win some free Red Dead Online gold bars. Because a lot of the clothing in today's update, you need to pay with gold bars. Womp womp. That's what I gotta say. So today, what was added in Red Dead Online was a couple of things. Of course, the Up and Smoke game mode, which you guys saw the gameplay in the previous video. And I'm also gonna have some tips and tricks coming out tomorrow. But we also got the Winter Shotgun Coat, the Benbo Jacket, Darned Stockings, and the Man Tekka Hat. I wonder if the Darned Stockings is like a joke. Because they're four and three gold bars apiece. And it's like the Darned Stockings, you know, the damn stockings. So let's check out the tailor here. Let's go to the catalog. I don't know if I'm going to buy the Winter Shotgun Coat. I think I may. I probably will just because I can have one, right? Um, so we still need the Porter Jacket, and that's going to come in next week's update. So here we go, the Winter Shotgun Coat. This thing is... I think it's... Okay, I already have this one. Okay, so this one's back in the store. Yeah, this we already got this. So yeah, it's nothing really new. It's just back in the store. I remember I picked this up because it was limited time. And I was like, well, I want to make sure I have one. Um, maybe I'll get the black. I don't know. I, I probably will hold off on buying one for now. This reminds me of the Arthur Morgan one, so I'll keep that. But here we go. This is the the jacket I've really been looking forward to, and I kind of want to blow all my money on all of these, but I think I'm only going to buy two. I think I'm going to buy... Oh, well, you know what? Maybe I'll buy three. Hmm. I want to buy two variations. This one's actually kind of cool. I'm looking at the back of it. I think this is the Arthur Morgan one. This is the Pursuer outfit from the story mode, if you guys remember. So we're going to buy that one. Goodbye, full, uh, four gold bars. That's $1.30 out of my pocket right there. That's a lot of gameplay grinding, too. I think I'm going to buy this one as well. It does look pretty cool. So I just spent seven gold bars on this jacket, guys. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get dislikes for that. Um, I've just been earning this stuff in Showdown anyway. Um, but, you know, it's just like all that work for the gold bars just gone. Just gone. The daily challenges do help out. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to roll with. I'm going to equip this one just so we have it. And now, if I go... I'm going to go to the wardrobe real fast as well. Because you guys are going to see... I'm going to totally turn this into... Well, actually, this is kind of the Arthur Morgan outfit right now. The only thing I need to do is go to the wardrobe. And I need to... Excuse me. I need to equip the hat. And there's no prop... Oh, actually, speaking of which... We don't even... No, we need to equip the Manteca hat. That's a new hat in the game. There's actually a bunch of really cool Manteca hats that were added. They're like all snakeskin hats, which I think is pretty cool. Um, of course, it's... You know, we shouldn't be... Ex like, the thing is, we shouldn't be excited for a new hat that's come into the game. That should be part of everything and be like, Oh, a new hat, a new coat every week, new pants, new shirt. Like, that should all be part of our hype. But we should also be happy because there's a new game mode, there's new missions, there's do this and that. And as we get further on into the life cycle of this game that's all gonna come but like it's it's just not gonna matter at a certain point like the world has almost forgotten about red dead online the world has almost forgotten about red dead redemption 2 it's just all of us are obsessed with this game because we're part of the community but everyone else has moved on like they're you know everyone's playing fortnite or apex or gta roleplay like no one cares about this game which is sad so let's check out the manteca hat and see what we can do to keep the hype alive here i don't know which one i would go for this kind of works uh, this also matches. I don't like the red on top, though. I would probably go... If I'm going to go with one of these... None of these really go together. Green goes with red. But it, that just looks weird as a hat. I'd probably go with this one. It's black, and it's got the red highlight. So that would probably go with this jacket. This one would go with my other one. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy these two hats right here. I'm going to buy this one. And I'm also going to buy this one. So that way I have two Manteca hats. They're actually kind of similar, so rip me but uh 
Nonetheless, that's that. I kind of want to go for the others, too. Man, I'm going to blow all my money on these stupid hats, guys. That's what's going to happen. I'm spending all my money on some stupid hats in Red Dead Online. Rockstar, what is up with this $141.25 hats? Do I buy another? Yeah, I'm going to buy another. I don't know what I'm going to use that hat with, but I think... Oh, boy. Anyway, so we just spent like $500 on hats right there. I, I can't believe, I can't believe I did that. Drop a like on this video for my pain and suffering here, ladies and gentlemen. So now I think we have the outfit here. We also want to get some stockings. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to buy socks. I will tell you right now, I am not buying the socks, but I will show you these socks that were added. I wish these pelt half chaps weren't out of stock because these were the ones I wanted to buy and this would pretty much be the pursuer outfit from the story mode. I can't believe I forgot to buy the pelt half chaps, guys. That was totally my B. I hope we get, like, big moccasins in the game. That would be pretty cool. Um, we do have, like, other similar style moccasins, like these high top moccasins. But they don't... Well, I guess they kind of go with it. I guess I would have to roll with these to make them look like it. I need to look in the story mode and see what the exact color is of them. I think they're more like this, though. If I'm not mistaken, maybe they're a little bit darker. They're, like, a different shade than the pants themselves. And I would say they're more like this, or maybe like that. I don't want them to be too dark. They're a little bit orange, though. I think I think we're gonna go with these. These look like the right ones. Okay, so this is pretty much the Pursuer outfit. I need the proper shirt as well, but we don't have that, of course. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna replace my old outfit that actually was supposed to be this outfit, pretty much. And if I can go to the wardrobe, go to outfits, then go to custom outfits. So this is the one I was trying to reenact with it. Um, and of, of course, this isn't close to the pursuer outfit from the story mode. So now I'm going to delete this outfit and I'm going to replace it with this outfit. And so now I have the typical Arthur Morgan outfit or as close as I can get it to his outfit. Just a really cool outfit that I've been rocking for a while that goes with the leopard appaloosa the zebra horse and then this one this is like the pursuer outfit from the story mode which in my opinion this looks i i i'm a fan of this i'm a fan of this outfit uh let's just check it out outside real quick so we can see how it is i want to see what it's like with my weapon out when we run around town i think we look pretty cool i'm a fan i'll probably be rocking this for a little bit so i am definitely a fan of this but i think to kick off this video we will jump into another up and smoke game mode um, and a, another up and smoke match just so you guys can see hopefully we could play on a different map and see how we do I was trying to search for a different map and we got the same map that I played in the last video So you guys are gonna be enjoying that. I think we're gonna switch it up though I think uh, I'm gonna just do me one quick favor here abilities Paint it black. We are going to switch to slippery bastard as you guys can see I don't even have the card upgraded, but we have bonus XP and I'm also gonna swap out. I think um, strange medicine for, uh, let's see, where is it, where is it, unblinking eye, that way our dead eye drains slower, you know what, we may not even need that, I have enough tonics, I'm just gonna waste the tonics, I'd rather get the health back on kills, so, that's what we're gonna do, strange medicine, eye for an eye, never without one, slippery bastard, and I'm gonna run around with my double barrel, and, can I just activate, no, I need to be aiming in to do this, okay, well, here we go. Watch me fail. Actually, I might, might not even make it. Ah! Take the tonic! Uh-oh, I got my hat shot off. <laughs> I'm gonna get to the base! I'm gonna get to the base! <laughs> Sucker! Oh crap! I got shot! Ah! No! I just activated. Dude, I gotta figure something out here. Maybe, maybe I should go with the unblinking eye card. I'm gonna try it. Hold on, let me pull up on cover here. That was pretty funny. We did some damage to the base. As you guys can see, that's the way to go. I think if I have these cards maxed out, then I'll pretty much be in the clear here. I'm gonna switch to Unblinking Eye so it drains slower. I can get some Headshot Deadeye with Eye for an Eye. Slippery Bastard is definitely a good card. I think you gotta go with all the Deadeye um, cards when you use Slippery Bastard so it drains as slow as possible. I just wish there was a better way to come out of Deadeye. I think I just need to continue to take Tonics when my Deadeye isn't drained fully. 
And then you're pretty much good to go. I need to go for this bag. And I'm gonna deliver this one. I think I can make it. I bet I can. I have the second bag. We're doing some damage on the enemy, uh... The enemy things here. So I'm gonna pop another... Oh my god, he wait, you could do that? Oh, hell! <laughs> I didn't know you could tackle people. Oh, that's a first for me. Okay, I see how it is, fam. I see how it is. I lost my tonic. I'm just ripping through tonics this game. Honestly, if this is how you're supposed to play the mode, just like Spoils War, this is kind of lame. This <laughs> You're going to make no money because you're just using all this money on tonics. I mean, I guess you could craft them. But then you need to leave Showdown every, like, two games because you rip through all your tonics. So, like, what are you really doing? You know? I don't know. You tell me. I gotta move up there, though. I don't like how I need to aim down my sights to get over here. It's a little frustrating. I'm just gonna run up on this guy first. There we go. Damn, I, where did this guy come from? That guy wasn't even on the map. Great, wonderful. We're not having any luck pushing into the base now, folks. Dude, we are almost at this objective, and now there's multiple people. It was at this moment that Nathan knew. He fucked up. Not gonna happen- Dude, come on! That is so f stupid. Did you f see that? Dude! You can't just, like, pull me back to get tackled, man! Yeah, okay, so we tried to, like, run the bag up the whole time to plant the explosives. Didn't happen. Every time people kept tackling me, that's something I want to know in this game, is why, when you're running, like, I, I have the distance of six or seven people. Like, I am 20 feet in front of this guy, but he just has to run past me and hit the tackle button, and the game just pulls me back to him like, like he's a magnet. I just get sucked to him, and he tackles me and kills me because I have no stamina. Why, like, why is that a thing? To tackle someone, you can't tackle them if they're, you know, across the room, you know, they need to be next to you. Why is the game giving them that prompt? Doesn't make sense to me. Again, this, if, if you have to use Slippery Bastard to plant the bomb, it makes no sense. I prefer playing the other way, paint it black. I may not get as many plants, but as you guys can see, I only got one delivery anyway. The rest of the time, I got tackled every time. Um, I, I think Paint It Black's the way to go. End of story. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wanted to bring the gameplay with my outfit, but I forgot that this game, um, it doesn't, it takes off your coat. So the, my, my shirt and my pants, it doesn't really look like the outfit. So I just figured, screw it, whatever, we'll play this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.